This week, Sarah and I do absolutely nothing. But Papa did. Yeah, it's a good thing. So put down your tools, guys. It's time for a make or break. Welcome back to Make It Break, guys. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And this week, Popo came over and got to spend some time in the shop with Rob's son, Cameron. Yep, let's see what they made. A while back, my dad came over to the shop and asked if he could build something with his grandson, my son, Cameron. Now, building in the shop with a little one is absolutely okay, but obvious precautions need to be taken, which means Cameron won't be able to use most of the power tools, but that doesn't mean he can't be around and still feel like an important part of the build. Half the fun was watching my dad teach Cameron how the tools worked. Now the project they picked is a really easy one that you can do with your kids or grandkids too. They're building a simple tic-tac-toe game with a single block of wood and some pieces made of dowel rod. Now first, my dad used the miter saw to cut the block they'll use from a 2x6. Then the fun part begins, math. They used a calculator to get their measurements and then started marking off the locations of the lines that would make up the board. Now this is a good opportunity to get kids involved. Now to draw the lines, they decided to carve them out with a rotary tool. This tool is safe enough that my dad could help guide Cameron, but allow him to do the carving. Of course, as with any power tool, don't forget to wear your safety glasses. When they were done carving, they found another tool that kids can use, the sander. Wouldn't be a project without sand, sand, sand. Next, my dad allowed Cameron to mark off the middle of each box by eye, and he did a great job. Next, it was back to the miter saw to cut the pieces from a dowel rod. Once again, Cameron was still happy just to watch. Then it was time to drill the holes. To do that, they used a half inch Forstner bit so the half inch dowel pieces would fit right in. With the holes all drilled, it was time for Paul Paul to head home. So Cameron thanked him by teaching him how to dab. Man, I'm old. Now this project got kicked to the back of our line a few times because Cameron was too busy with school to finish painting. But recently, Sarah cornered him, handed him some paints and got the job done. Another job the kids can do with you. He painted the block white, the lines black, and then painted five of the pins white and four black. So whomever plays white will always go first. Then all that was left to do was beat Sarah at it. Well, that was nice of you to step in the end and help him paint. I had a lot of fun. I used to teach Cameron, so it was fun to go back to that like preschool age of painting with your son. In case you don't know, that's how we met Sarah. Sarah was my son's preschool teacher at one point. He hated painting then, he hated painting here. Like it all just makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, it's a super easy project, and keep in mind, guys, that if you want to bring your kids in the shop, you can, as long as you do so safely. Do it safely. That's yeah. Right. I want to thank Hart for sponsoring this episode and reminding us we can build anything we can imagine if we do it with Hart. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and that's about it for us this week, so break's over. Go make something. Yeah.